Welcome back Space Cadets, you know the drill by now, we're back at you with another Fast Five, so let's make this quick. So for our third venture into the Marvel Madness uh, score that we're bringing to you from Outer Space Gamers, we're touching on the god himself, Thor. So Marvel released three different films throughout their multiverse so far. Thor, 2011, Thor, The Dark World, 2013, and then most recently in 2017, Thor Ragnarok. We're going to kick things off with fast fact number one. Thor is directly based off of the Norse god of thunder, also named Thor. Creators Stan Lee, Larry Liber, and Jack Kirby were unsure if they wanted to keep the mythology behind the superhero, but ultimately decided that the easiest way to make him strong was to keep him as a god. Thor's father, Odin, also a Norse god, sent Thor to Earth in order to learn lessons of humility and, and actually erase all of his remnants of godhood. The Thor that we get to know and love goes by his human name, Donald Blake, and is a medical student helping the poor and sick. This is where Thor's compassionate and docile attitude stems from. With this in mind, Thor is actually a god in a human body. Who would have known? And we're going to get things right back into it with fast fact number two. So as my counterpart just shared with you, Thor is a god. He's a god from Asgard, and as the ilk of Asgard would say, he's also protector of Earth called Midgard. Some of his abilities as a god, he's strong, superhumanly, and has a magical hammer, Mjolnir, um, which allows him to hit hard, also gives him the ability to fly, and those only worthy to pick it up can do so. Why am I even still talking at this point? Fast fact number three. Thor, or Odin's son, son of Odin, um, Odin is the king of Asgard. His, his wife, Thor's mother, and Loki's mother, Queen Frigga. Um, there's also some key characters that have come up in the Thor movies as well that you should know, getting us ramped up for Avengers Infinity War, the bold lady Sith, and so the wow. so-called Warriors 3, the swashbuckling Frangel, the, Frangel, the serious-minded Hogan, and the jovial Vlostag. And we're still going, fast fact number four. Thor's brother Loki, that has appeared throughout the Marvel movies, is actually responsible for the initial creation of the Avengers as seen in the first movie. Due to Loki's trickster abilities, he's able to create illusions. Inadvertently, in the comics, he is responsible for the formation of the Avengers by creating an illusion of the Hulk to draw Thor into battle. But what Loki didn't know is that this in turn brought the original team together in the first place. This makes perfect sense when looking at the first movie, because Loki is the first enemy that the cinematic Avengers team fight together first. And to wrap it all up, we have Fast Fact number 5. So, as we touched upon in the first uh, Marvel Madness Fast 5 film that we brought you, touching on Captain America, we talked about how viewers might be kind of feeling on death row a little bit with um, Avengers Infinity War coming up. And, you know, we've seen some pretty tragic moments in the trailer so far of, you know, possibly some of our beloved characters that we've come to know and love being able to, you know, be expendable uh, in this film. And so with the most recent installment with Thor, Thor Ragnarok, 2017, Ragnarok predicts Armageddon. Uh, and so, you know, characters uh, in that film, you know, were at the same time on the chopping block for that. We did not lose Thor um, in that film. Uh, we lost Odin, um, you know, spoiler alert, uh, for those who have not seen Thor Ragnarok. But as we get ready for Avengers Infinity War, will the Ragnarok myth from Norse mythology, from a lot of different mythologies, will that come into play in Infinity War? You know, will Thor be on the chopping block potentially, you know, with losing that character? Um, you know, will Iron Man, you know, be the one that gets it? Will Vision, you know, because he potentially has a stone ripped from his forehead, where will this kind of all play into not only that, you know, mythos around Ragnarok, but ultimately in the entire multiverse uh, around Marvel. So, as we kind of wrap up another one with you guys, um, thank you for, you know, tuning into the channel, Space Cadets. Uh, any new followers, definitely this is the third installment into our Marvel Madness series coming out to you in April. Again, the following week, we'll again have another insight, uh, two more uh, videos around characters, uh, in the beloved Marvelverse thus far, and then we get you know one step closer once again to our release of uh, Avengers: Infinity War, a decade in the making. And so as we wrap this one up, thank you again for tuning in. This is Gramps signing off. This is Octopus signing off. Super Saiyan signing off. Thanks again, Space Cadets. Over and out. As my friend Octopus just uh, told us about, Thor is a god. He's a god. God. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>